Hey, before we get started, let me recommend you something. It's a thcc.name website, a hardware compatibility catalog. This is a place where you can find out if your hardware is compatible with an operating system you are going to use on that. Like if you are going to buy a new laptop, you can figure out if you can install and use your favorite Linux on that. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You can pick your vendor here, you can pick your device type here, you can search for your model. Yeah, there is my model here. And yeah, this device is already scored for some operating systems. If your device is not still here, you can add that yourself. And also you can score your device right here. Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how simple and easy could be a display replacement or a display cable replacement in Acer Predator G9, 7.9.1 or 7.9.2. You don't need any very special tools to do that. You need a couple of screwdrivers like this and I believe any piece of plastic debit card credit card whatever so if your cable is broken you need to remove this cover which is uh, pretty easy and straightforward thing just do it like this. There is a set of notches, which is pretty easy to move. If you are going to do a display replacement or uh, something like that, you can leave this cover where it is. But if you are going to upgrade or downgrade your display from Full HD to uh, 4K, you need to replace your cable as well, so you need to remove the cover. This is the EDP port here, and you will have access to it right now. Next, we're going to remove this bezel. This could be a little bit tricky for the first time, but I guess in few attempts you'll figure that out. So use your plastic here, I believe, to start the process. Insert your card here and start removing the bezel. All right, we are done. Here you can see the cable is going through here and it is connected to the display port right here. Another part of the cable is going up. This part connects the backlight or the cover, making everything here uh, lighting. You can just disconnect that if you don't like your backlight. And the other thing in this cable is a microphone and a USB port for the camera. Uh, your camera is connected through this and uh, this USB port here. So to replace the display, you basically need to unscrew four more screws. One here at the top, right here. One at the bottom, and symmetrically two from the other side 
here and in upper corner right here and if you are going to replace your display cable you also need to unscrew this guy this guy and all this you will need this to remove the old cable so it's pretty straightforward there's nothing complicated you need no special tools and i believe even kids can do that so thank you for watching and goodbye